Before starting to build any Power BI reports, the very first thing you always want to do is to understand your data. And though we do have a fair understanding of these data sets, I would just like to quickly remind us of what we have. So if I go over here to the data view, we have sales records that includes IDs of transactions, which is called other ID in this case. Then the transactions also record the date when the order happened and also the date when the shipment was made and the type of shipment that was used, which includes first class, same day, second class and standard class. Also in the data set, we have details about the customer from the customer ID to the name of the customer and the segment the customer belongs to. Then we'll also have information about the locations where the shipment is going to take the customer's products to. This location details include city, state, postal code, and regions. And of course, we'll have information about the products themselves, the ID of the product, the category that the product belongs to, and that includes furniture, office supplies, and technology. And it also includes the subcategory of the product within each of the categories. Then the name of the product is there as well. And things that have to do with money, the sales, discount percentage that was issued, profits on the sale, and also the quantity of products that is purchased. So one thing you probably would have found out is that our report also requires something on day of the week level. And that's one of the things you have to factor in before you start building any Power BI reports. You need to be able to know that you have everything in place that can provide all the answers that you need. And based on the requirements we went through in the other video, we are going to start to do some reporting that are based on days of the week, like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. But when you check through this data set, you are going to see that there is nothing basically on the data or there is no column on the data that has to do with Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Yes, we have the date columns here, but this date column just carries the full date. We don't have any fields that is purely about the days of the week. And that's where we are going to have to modify the data set a little bit, which is part of our data preparation and possibly data modeling as well. So I'm going to go back to my report view. Then I will go to the home tab. What I want to do now is to return back to Power Query and find out if one of the 360 transformations that Power Query can do can help me to look at a date and tell me the day of the week that the date belongs to. So I'm just going to go over here to transform data. So now in Power Query, I have this date column here, but you know, it's displaying only just the date, but I want to get the day of the week. So 8th of November 2016, is it a Monday? Is it a Tuesday? So here's what I will do in Power Query. I'll simply click on the Add Column tab. And from the Add Column tab, you see that we have a group of magic that can happen from date column, right? So when I click on the drop down for the dates right there, I'm going to go over to day and I'm going to select name of day. So once that's selected, if I scroll over to the extreme right hand side, I'm going to see the day names right here. But I'm not done yet because what I actually want to do is to keep these names short, right? So I want to keep only the first three characters from the day names. So I'm going to select that day name column and I'm going to leave the add column tab. Why? Because every single thing you do on the add column tab simply is going to create a new column for you. So I want to go over back to the transform tab and then right here within the group of text column, you are going to see an option to extract. So when I click on the option to extract, I'm going to select the first characters. So when I click on first characters, obviously, Power Query is going to ask me how many characters do I want and I'm going to type in here three. So when I click OK, you see that I have the day names in their short forms. Now, we're going to add one more thing that is going to be useful for us when we load the data. So we have the names of the days, but we also want to have the numbers of these days as well. There are seven days in a week. We want to number these days from one to seven or from zero to six, whichever one we find first. So again, since we are creating a new column for that, we have to go to the Add Column tab. And again, we will have to go back and select our Order Dates column. So when I select the Order Dates column, 
I will go back to this magic group of from date and time. When I click on the drop down, I'm going to select day of week. So when I click on day of week, it's going to show me zero to six with Monday being day zero and Sunday being day six. So once we have this, we have all we need to proceed to flesh out our reports. I'm just going to go back to the home tab and I will click close and apply.